Hey everyone, Slothcakes here, and welcome back to some more MBON. And today we'll be playing the 3000 cost Penelope. This is a mobile suit from Hathaway's Flash, and he is massive. However, there is another mobile suit from Hathaway's Flash, which is very similar to this guy, playstyle wise, and it's also a 3000 cost. And that's the XI or 11th Gundam. Now, the Penelope is. Like I said, one big ass guy. He is what, maybe the top five biggest mobile suits in this game. And when you understand what it is, you'll be like, yeah, that probably explains why he's so goddamn huge. But I like this guy. I love the shape of him. It's a very unique design. Looks like a dragon, something like Dragonair or something like that. I just very much like the uniqueness to it. And it just looks like a Gundam that has like a giant mecha poncho on it, which is really cool. But something I always joke about is this guy's silhouette just looks like a bunch of Doritos were just dropped on the ground. Like his backpack is just triangles upon triangles. His lower legs are just triangles on even more triangles. And I mean this in a great way. I just like this design. But the Penelope is a pretty simple 3000 cost mobile suit to learn. He doesn't have anything really too complicated about him. And his biggest tool is his main gun, which is a good thing and a bad thing because him having a low ammo is a problem. He does have 10 shots to his main gun, however your main gun is one of your biggest tools, so you're gonna have to figure out how to use it properly. Also he has a, un a unique thing with his uh, changing forms where he can purge his armor, but I'll talk about that in a second. Now before we get into that, and since I'm already talking about Hathaway's Flash, Hathaway's Flash is actually getting an adaptation. It's gonna get a trilogy movie, which I'm very excited for. I am very much love the Hathaway's Flash novel. I've been a big fan of the mobile suit designs, everything in it. And you know, I'm just a huge fan of a later Universal Century, like past Unicorn. It's just because recently, like not even recently, just for a while, anything past, like late Universal Century has just been Unicorn. And I just really like, you know, things like F91, Crossbone, and Hathaway's Flash. And Hathaway's Flash has been one of the few Gundam series that just the community has been really wanting a uh, adaptation. Similar to things like Blue Destiny, Gundam Crossbone, Hathaway's Flash. It's, it's nice that one of them's finally getting the adaptation. But anyways, let's talk about this guy. Now a very big thing you're gonna see in the bottom of uh, his weapons is that thing that says 280 and now it says zero and now it's charging up and you're probably wondering well what is that well that's the penelope's flight fi oh no wait let me say it's the fixed flight unit got kind of confused with the name the fixed flight unit gets attached to this mobile suit and it becomes the penelope now something that's a little confusing is the name of the penelope right now when i have the armor purged I'm actually the Odyssey Gundam, and right now I have all those triangle things on me, the fixed flight unit, I'm now the Penelope. The Penelope is the Odyssey Gundam with the fixed flight unit attached to it. And how that 2080 works, with a bottom thing right there, that's the fixed flight unit's health. Right now it's at 172 because I took damage. It cannot be recharged, but like, besides it running out. But when it goes down and goes to zero, you will purge your armor and become the Odyssey. Now the thing you gotta know is when it goes to zero, it's not an instant purge. You will purge your armor when you get hit out of it, when you're not in hit stun or block stun anymore. Look, right now, I got back up, I boosted a second, and then it purged the armor. Nice thing is when your armor is purged, you have invincibility. So it's not like a massive opening, which is a good thing. And once it's at zero, it will charge back up as you see, it goes to up to 100. Once it's at 100, you hit BC and you're now the Penelope. It's a very fast transformation, which is nice, but you can look right now that the 2080 isn't there. When you put back the Penelope armor a second time, you actually can't lose it again. Because if I lost 2080 health, I'd actually just die, so that's a nice thing. Just in case, like, you know, if your teammates are Zeta and they heal you past 2080, know that the second time around, you're not going to lose the armor. There is a few things about this, though. One very important thing is, when you start the match, you spawn in as the Penelope. However, if you die and you are overcast, you will spawn in as the Odyssey, which is a very important thing. This is a suit 
that you do not want to overcast. So if your teammate's the Penelope, you really don't want to overcast them. And if you're the uh, Penelope, you really don't want to get overcast. It's a very important thing because while the Odyssey isn't terrible, the Penelope is where like the real meat is. It's your bread and butter, it has all the nice tools that you want. However, the Odyssey is still a fine suit. It's got a very simple kit, but the Penelope is more the one with the damaging. With the more dangerous kit. Also, this guy can sort of transform. He can't do it in game, but if you look at that like weird little thing above his head, it closes down, he kind of like groups his body a little bit, and he kind of looks like a dragon, and in this form he can actually fly. And what he does is like, because of the mo- oh, what is it called? I can never uh, pronounce a thing. Because of the Minoski particles and Einheim Electronics, uh, what's it called? The Minoski barrier, it actually allows it to cut air resistance, letting it fly and reach top speed. It's a big mobile suit, but this guy's actually pretty fast lore-wise. And I don't think I said it, but this is one of the few mobile suits that can actually fly within a normal gravity. And if you guys didn't know, a lot of Universal Century suits, especially early Universal Century suits, can't actually fly. It takes up to like F91 for them to actually be able to uh, fly. And victory for... with the wings of light for a mobile suit to be able to freely fly in any gravity. Which is weird. But anyways, getting on to this guy, let's just talk about uh, his kit. It's a very simple kit, like I said. It's very easy to learn. However, ammo problem is your biggest thing. Your main gun is one of your most important tools. And his main gun, while you do have 10 shots, it's very easy to run out of your shots because it's really your only fast tool. Besides your main gun, you have a CSA and a CSB, which are both uh, sweeping Jerobis. Both of the Jerobis sweep at an amazing angle, like a little past 180. CSA is a horizontal sweep, while CSB is a vertical sweep. The only difference is uh, CSB, you hop upwards before you deploy it, it goes vertical, and if it hits, it stuns. Your second weapon is your uh, funnel missiles. You deploy them, they go around you, then they go to the target and then run into them and exploding on them. It pops them up, you can get a combo. You can do this move to, uh, if you venue yourself with your main gun example, you can just do this move and you'll start free falling, which is nice. Second move is a Jirobi, nice Jirobi. And that's basically his kit. His main gun, however, has a unique thing where every time you shoot your main gun, you actually shoot two uh, funnel missiles along with it. Which is a very interesting thing, because they can combo into themselves, leading to a combo by itself. Meaning you can uh, do Zuda combos with just a single beam, uh, beam rifle shot. You can use a lot less ammo than regular mobile suits. However, you gotta know where your missiles and beam rifle shots are. Example, it will take three beam rifle shots to knock someone down. However, it can take you just two. You can fire two beam rifle shots, the first one shot uh, hits, second one hits, then the missiles of the first shot hits, knocking the enemy down. And you gotta know that these missiles are physical rounds. So while you're shooting at the ABC mantle, for example, they will eat through your uh, beam shot, however, it won't eat through your missiles. Also something that the missiles do lag behind a little bit, the closer you are, the more natural they uh, combo into themselves. However, the missiles have really nice tracking to them. So even if your beam rifle shot misses, those missiles can still go at the enemy, which is a very nice thing. But also because of that, if you shoot, if you shoot someone and go for a melee combo, you gotta make remember that your missiles will most likely end the combo quickly. You shoot, someone, you shoot someone with a beam rifle, you go up, you smack them, your missiles are probably gonna end up hitting them, and that's gonna be the end of the combo. Just for you to know that so you don't end up like committing to too many things. But other than that, the Odyssey is also very simple. It's got a beam rifle that has, like, his, I'm gonna spawn as it like that, look, beam rifle's got five shots, He's got a barrel roll that the GPO-1 has, you can free fall it, pretty nice. Then he has an eye, a high output shot that does some good amount of damage. It's a very nice mobile suit, I like the design, and he's just cool. That's, that's all I can say about it. He's just a cool looking guy. 
There is a high grade of this dude, and it is goddamn massive. It is expensive because it's so massive, and it's like as big and even wider than like a master grade Zaku 2. This guy is huge as a model kit. And it's something that, like, I look at it and we're like, we, yeah, we're never gonna get a uh, Master Grade of this dude. He's already Master Grade size, um, by just being a high grade. And it's not just the Penelope that's big, like, the Odyssey's also just a big guy. He's just huge. Which I really like a lot. But at the beginning, I said that there's another suit from Hathaway's Flash. That's the XI. It plays somewhat similar to this guy. Has a very similar main gun. Has similar uh, funnel missiles. Similar Jirobi. Has a different BC and doesn't have the fixed fight unit. Has something completely different than that. And he doesn't have the CSA and CSB that the Penelope has. But it's a very similar vibe. This guy, the Penelope, and the XI both have the same burst special, which is just a big uh, Jirobi. Only difference is the Penelope shoots missiles while he's doing the Jirobi and the XI also. However, the Odyssey does not shoot missiles. But anyways, you know, it's, it's obvious you're going to be using shooting burst. It's really great on this guy. Just because, like I said, every time you shoot the main gun, missiles come out. So if you're in shooting burst, a whole lot of missiles are going to come out. But anyways, I just wanted to try out the Penelope. He's a fun guy, and you know, he's a... I don't play 3000 cost mobile suits that often, just because... I usually play Shuffle Lobbies, because that's what's usually on, and... Just with Shuffle Lobbies and 3000 costs, you're gonna play a lot of matches, which it's just gonna be you and a 3000 cost teammate, which is, you know, either hit or miss. But anyways, that was some Penelope, hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And like usual, have a good one, and see you next time.